Okay, I'm talking recovery runs and race plans in this episode. Here we go. So, gonna get out there on this recovery run after yesterday's um, personal best. I got a little PR in there. I feel pretty good about that. So, uh, managed to amass a total of uh, 20 miles. I got 20 miles, rather. I can't say I amassed 20 miles. 20 miles yesterday felt good in the books uh, on the road here to today's recovery run and still chasing 10 hours. Uh, I still have that in the plans. It is really going to be. Uh, a challenge to get the 10 hours by Tuesday, but I am going to continue to work at it. So today's plan is to go super slow, um, just ease into this, get the get the legs turning, get the wheels turning over here a little bit, and not really panic about pace. I don't I didn't even bring my don't even have my watch with me today, so I'm going to do everything sort of through the phone uh, without any notifications on that, and uh, log it that way. Uh, I'll get out there on this run, and then when I get back, I do have the announcement as to what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do this 26.2 first marathon by myself. That sounds weird, but that's how it's going. All right, here we go. Okay, so that is it. I uh, am happy to get that run in. I think the the reality really just cushioning and making it uh, slower than normal. I think those first <clears throat> recovery runs I did early after like a longer run were always uh, way too fast. This one felt appropriate and uh, ironically enough as I got moving I felt like I sort of uh, loosened up a bit which was which was nice I am still running with this uh, buff on um, if I pass somebody or there are large groups I definitely pull it up right now and I'm sure all runners are, are being safe in some way on to the exciting news all right here's the deal the first marathon marathon is canceled uh, I was struggling to find uh, a way to sort of resolve this issue of it being canceled it is not ideal in the sense that i was sort of anticipating you know the hype of a, a full marathon and and running with friends and um that feeling of crossing the finish line and all of those things having said that i'm to the point now where i'm going to design my own <clears throat> but what i am doing is i'm running the pittsburgh virtual marathon which is you can do that anytime in uh in the month of april and may and then i also signed up today with seth seth james demore is hosting one now the reason why this is so attractive is that he's hosting a virtual run that occurs on april 19th so the cool thing about that is it feels like you have a date to prepare in mind um i was gonna set a date but i don't know if that would have been enough and i think having seth's date of april 19th in mind and other people are signing up for it and there's a virtual race sign up uh sheet I'll, I'll link to that um if i can in this video here but it just felt like more official so that is the game plan april 19th that's it i will document the entire thing and then going forward uh with this channel if i get into an actual marathon in the fall I will document again that series of training uh, for that marathon. So that's that. I'll put the run details for today here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.